tune me to the Dono Ox family. If you got a question, just hit us up on uh, Twitter, Instagram, and all the other social media sites that will be down in the description below. So today we're going to be talking about channeling your emotions into your art, whether that is music, writing, or so. Now, the topic was suggested by a member of our family, Anka Chubbs, I believe that's how you pronounce it, and he suggested for me to do a video on this topic. Now, channeling your emotions into your art, rather it is sadness or happiness, you can use these feelings to create a more expressive artwork. So, for example, people tend to listen to a specific type of music. So, for example, people may play some hardcore rock music when they're drawing some kind of hardcore action scene. Uh, people may listen to a, a really sad song when they're writing or drawing a sad scene. With the use of music, you can activate these emotions within us to better navigate where we want to go with our art. And for musicians, it may be a experience that they've gone through in real life. It's a whole plethora of different ideas and things. Now, certain people are different. I know for me, I don't usually like to listen to music that's very lyric heavy. I'd rather listen to instrumentals or binaural beats. Now, I know there are some people that have had some rough experiences, and this goes back into making your mess, your message. So some of these people like just tend to channel in their negative experiences into their artwork or their writing. So the negative experiences that the people go through, since they have that perspective, it may inspire a character in their story or so. And that character will be in a position in which they are in their lowest point in their life. And that could be used to inspire the story because the writer or the artist has the experience to create that character. They have first-hand experience into that character. And sure, you can gain insight for certain characters by studying psychology, looking at interviews, but I feel the first-hand experience is like an utmost value. The first-hand experience can't beat what anybody else has said or done or what you've seen in a movie. So it is of utmost value to have that experience. And I feel what's important about channeling your emotions into your art is to be the observer of your own emotions. You wouldn't want to let your emotions control you or overwrite you. You want to be objective but at the same time have that subjective experience while you're doing the art. So let's say for example there's a musician playing the, the violin. Now the difference between control versus a lack of control. Let's say that the violin player is really angry. So if the violinist is angry, he or she could use that emotion to make a really angry sounding tone in the music, while at the same time having control and being creative, making a tune with it. Or the violinist can break a string or so. That's a lack of control, letting the emotions override you instead of being the observer and having full control of those emotions. And so another example, let's say if you're writing a romance scene and it's a happy romance scene and in the back of your mind you're thinking about an argument you had with a, a family member or someone or, or a friend or so. That's an example of having a lack of control of what you're channeling into the artwork. So that emotion that you may feeling that you may be feeling because you're writing a happy romance scene may not be necessary for that situation but due to that lack of control it may just creep up and i feel that can hinder the creative process because it isn't a intentional emotion that you're channeling into the art so i did a separate video on that called your mind is your time specifically on those thoughts though those thoughts and emotions that just creep up and hinder the uh, artistic process and that will be the video guys thank you all for watching and thank you Anka chubbs for the uh, suggestion consider helping the family out by hitting that red subscribe button 
you know, it's down below. You don't gotta, but you know, it'll, it'll help out the channel. It'll help out the family. You know, but uh, you, you don't gotta. Well, yeah, yeah, that'll be the video. And uh, later.